Hey my dear Taurus, this is Luna the Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Let's see what is going to happen in your love life or in general in the month of November. Please take whatever resonates, leave the rest, do not try and deliberately fit in to this particular reading in case if it doesn't resonate, do check out your Sun Moon Rising and Venus sign as well. Let's see what is going to happen next in your life in the month of November. What is going to happen in the life of Taurus in the month of November? Please give me a card for my dear Taurus. What is going to happen in their life? A card for Taurus, please, for the month of November. What is going to happen in their life for the month of November, please? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual paths. I know there's a lot of uh, shine on the card. I hope that you're able to read it out. Hmm, let's see what exactly is going on with you all, Taurus. I see some kind of religious factors that is coming in between your, in between your love life. Some traditional probably family matters some your family is not happy with your relationship or probably you your upbringing is such in a traditional way that you are you know kind of not really happy a guidance for Taurus please give me one guidance for my dear Taurus for the month of November guidance for my dear Taurus for the month of November Guidance for my dear Taurus for the month of November. Water. Your guidance is to spend time near water, preferably by a river, lake, or the sea, or in a bath or shower, as you immerse yourself in the cosmic energy. Sense it purifying each cell of your body. If you cannot physically be in or near water, visualize it. Use water for deep inner and outer cleansing. So the message is quite clear. Right? I feel somehow that uh, right now you are kind of not... You know, you you are like kind of messed up in your mind, in your in your in your in your head. You've been advised to take a break. You know, go in the nature, probably take a good bath. Just add some rock salt or the pink Himalayan salt in your in your water, and just take a good warm water bath, right? And let all the negativity go away. If possible, just do a meditation for like 5-7 minutes. That should help you calm down your mind as well. Let's see what is going to happen in the life of... Okay. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So Taurus, I believe that... Uh, you are being advised either discuss it with your friends or there is some kind of guidance that is coming or epiphany or some kind of suggestion that is going to come in your life through a friend. So let's see further what is there in your reading. Please give me comments from my dear Taurus what is going to happen in their life for the month of November. Please give me a card for my dear Taurus. What is going to happen with Taurus in the life of November? In the life of Taurus in the month of November. So sorry. Card for you, card for them, and the outcome. Hmm. Card for them, please. And the outcome. What's happening? Outcome, please. Outcome for my dear Taurus for the month of November. Outcome for my dear Taurus for the month of November, please. Outcome for my dear Taurus for the month of November, please. I hope that you are able to do it. 
out complete. Oh. The bottom of the card, I see the moon. Tell me one thing, Taurus, what are you stuck with? What are you thinking? And what is going, what is happening with you? So Taurus, I see at the bottom of the deck, I see the moon. I feel that you are somehow uh, thinking a lot. You're getting sleepless nights. It's like all your demons come out at night while going off to sleep at play. Also, the person that you're dealing with may have a very heavy Pisces uh, in their chart or they are or their uh, sign is Pisces. You're dealing with the Pisces or they may have a heavy Pisces in their chart. I see that you are having problems you are having arguments you are having conflicts you are having challenges five of wands either that can be with your friends or your partner let's see how this progresses is there a third party situation that i see here your world is changing you are transforming and you feel stuck You feel stuck. I feel that your person was quite cold towards you. Right? They were not responding properly the way you wanted to. You didn't hear from them the way you wanted to. You, they didn't speak to you the way you wanted to. And I feel that your person had multiple options in their life. When you were around. Your person had multiple options and they treated you like shit. They didn't treat you well. But you were kind of attached with them and you felt stuck. You felt blinded. So I feel the energy, your energy is quite a stuck energy and you kind of you know, you don't want to come out of this relationship at the same point of time. Because of this relationship, you have gone through a lot of argument challenges and your world shattered and you started transforming. Everything, everything started changing in your life. Everything. I feel that you got to know that, that your person has a, uh, you know, there's a third party involved. Your person has also seen somebody else or talking to somebody else because of which you started having five challenges with your person and a lot of arguments that I see and I see a lot of uh, argument happening at night in the past or present. There's a lot of argument, a lot of mental conflict, a lot of challenges, a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, hurt, stuck energy that I feel, a very negative energy that I feel. In your current and in your present and your future, I see that you are kind of wounded. You are in pain. You are waiting for your person. You are sitting and waiting for your person to either give you a justice, to give you an answer, or you're waiting for things to come back to normal. You're waiting for your, you're waiting, you're giving time to heal yourself right now. And you're taking your friends you're taking the support of your friends you're talking to your friends you're taking the support of your friends here right and you're discussing the situation with your friends here and you kind of very you you hurt you are trying to recover you're trying to come back you you know gain the balance again in your life but then I see that you are so much in pain, Taurus. You are so much in pain. And you are kind of a tradition person maybe, you know. So it's like whatever is happening with you, you are not somebody who would like to go ahead and switch 
move on within seconds you are somebody who who loves loves who loves the feeling of being in love and who loves to be in a commitment who knows the value of love and who is somebody who likes commit commitment you are not somebody who moves on so quickly right i see a person is kind of stuck in their mind too you know they have been uh, contemplating they have been thinking what to do what not to do whether i go back to my taurus whether i should go back to my taurus or i should not go back to my taurus right and i see that they are still thinking about it they haven't made up their mind and uh, you know i i feel that probably they will pretty soon but right now they haven't so i just wanted a clarification card you know and i just picked it up it called to me and i picked it up and it came as chariot they will come towards you with the clarification with the converse they they would like to speak to you and they would come to you pretty soon if in case you are in a no contact situation then they are coming and speaking to you pretty soon however just make sure that this person is quite high high minded you know you know this person is like kind of on cloud 9 all the time you know he thinks or she thinks a lot of himself you know a lot of uh i would say uh that you know they are they are few people who have a lot of attitude and they think uh a lot high about themselves so this person can be of that nature as well it's so i i i feel somehow it's a heavy uh, water sign it can be a cancerian as well that you the person that you're dealing with the outcome i see is five of cups i see in coming uh, you know in in november it says that you will be in lot of pain and you will be grieving about this loss and probably whatever situation that you are in it is not getting resolved so easily because there is a third party situation and your person is like you are somebody who is like who likes to be in a commitment you are quite religious traditional and who likes to be in a commitment but then your person is not because that person is already cheating on you right however your person will come and speak to you and they are uh, stuck in your mind as well and you are kind of waiting you are kind of waiting for them to come towards you and speak to you about this particular situation so they will be coming towards you pretty soon uh, dear tolens but yet again it is your call whether you would like to speak to them or not or whether you would like to resolve the issues or not right so let's see uh, november seems to be a little heavy month for you let's see what is it that you need to surrender what is it that taurus need to surrender in the month of november please give me a card for my dear taurus what is it that they need to surrender in the month of taurus uh, in the month of november what is it that taurus needs to surrender in the month of this is that taurus needs to surrender in the month of november sorry there were two decks that were a little mixed up what is it that the taurus needs to surrender in the month of november please give me a card what need, what needs to be surrendered what needs to be surrendered by taurus what is it that needs to surrender okay surrender to wonder and awe open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow so dear taurus all you need to do is just surrender let life happen to you naturally organically do not try to uh, you know get stuck in the energy that you are in right now try and be free just go to your friend discuss situation whatever it is at the end of the day friends are somebody who you know you can rely upon right so that's about it dear taurus thank you so much for tuning in goodbye take care